Hey guys, Skittle Rampage here. Welcome back to a new video. I do hope you're enjoying your day today. So today we have lots of new Funko announcements from Bleach, especially tons of new exclusives. We also have new things hitting stores and more updates. Now, before we get started, we do have our question of the day, which is, do you have any Funko Bobs in your collection that are wearing green? And I'm gonna go with Golden Freaks from Hunter x Hunter. Now, one more thing before we get started, we do have a quick video sponsor. Today's video sponsor is Whatnot. If you've never heard of Whatnot, they're a live auction app and website where you can buy and sell your favorite collectibles. So for example, if you like Funko Pop, they have tons, whether it's exclusive, common, a grail, rare, etc. And the same goes for One Piece trading cards as well, or different kinds of trading cards. They have a full section for that too. Now I want you to use my link down below in the description, as well as a pinned comment, where you can get $15 off your first purchase for new users. And if you didn't know, I will actually be going live on Whatnot with giveaways, as well as selling exclusive pops and more, over on September 14th at 5 p.m. EST, so you can bookmark the show on the app. Too. So again, if you're looking for a great place to maybe buy or sell your Funko Pops, make sure to check out Whatnot. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and jump into our Funko news, and as always, if you want to pre-order anything new, there are links down below and pinned in a comment. Starting off with a brand new Pop Rocks, we do have a new Doja Cat here, the Scarlet version. So basically where she has red paint all over, I don't know if this is supposed to be blood or what exactly it's supposed to be, but it definitely looks exactly like her from that moment, so I would say Funko did a good job. And it's something a little more lewd that I wasn't really expecting that Funko would make, but hey, here we are. It's a common release, so very easy to get if you are a Doja Cat fan, and this is her second pop so far. I am kind of curious if we'll continue getting very popular, like a uh, female singer, rapper, or whatever you want to label them as, because they do seem to do decently, at least in sales, because Funko keeps making them. So here's hoping hoping maybe one day we'll get Rihanna, Beyonce, maybe even Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, I don't know if Funko will ever get though. Moving on, a quick update from Funko themselves from their Pop Yourself feature. It does look like we have a new collab, which is NFL here. So it does say, become the ultimate football fan with officially licensed NFL gear there. So it looks like you can make a new Pop Yourself basically with like logos on the t-shirts as well as footballs. The next quick update and reminder I have for you guys is on the next NFT drop, which is Cartoon Network. So a reminder, these are your six redeemable we do have Samurai Jack, Moltar, Ashi, Eustace from Curds the Cowardly Dog, Robo Dexo 2000, and Freddy Funko as Johnny there. So this drop is taking place over on the Funko Drop website on September 10th, which is Tuesday at 11 a.m. PT, and good luck on that drop. And let me know if you guys are gonna go after this one. Moving on for my Bleach fans, we have so many crazy new exclusive announcements. This is nuts. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Starting off with AAA Anime's exclusive, we do have a Dongai Ichigo here. I gotta say, I think they did a fantastic job designing this one. The only nitpick I have though is that I wish his hair was slightly longer in the back. Because I do actually have the pop in hand and I've had a chance to see it out of box. And if you guys wanna see me unbox it, head over to my Instagram or TikTok. I did a little unboxing over there. But regardless of my hair nitpick there, I think Funko did great with this one. I'm very excited to pick it up. And you guys can pre-order this one over at Entertainment Earth. Again, links are down below. Now, AAA Anime's other exclusive was actually White Ichigo here, which is a great contender against the original Hollow Ichigo, which trends for around three to $500. So I'm sure this one's gonna make a lot of fans happy that you can get this one for 15 bucks versus hundreds of dollars. And I will say it's a much better mold than the last one, given he's in the Bankai form, as well as he does have colored yellow eyes, the correct eyes might I add, because the original one has red eyes for some reason. And the same with Dongai Ichigo, I did actually have a chance to unbox it a little bit early, so again, head over to my Instagram and TikTok if you do wanna check that out. This one also looks really great. Oh, and by the way, I wanna let you guys know that I'll most likely be giving these away in the future, so make sure to subscribe here and follow me on my social medias to get an update on that. Now our next exclusive is Toshiro here with his Bankai, probably my favorite in the set. They killed it here. I love the fact that they were able to capture this in a four inch pop there. So this is a Funko Shop exclusive expected in about two, three months. As you know, the Funko Shop only drops when they actually have the item in hand. They don't do pre-orders on there. And if they do, it's very rare for very specific situations. So very unfortunate on that, but I'll keep you guys posted as to when we will see Toshiro drop. Now, I don't know if you guys remember when I first talked about this rumor a while back of this pop coming, it was actually expected to have a glow chase variation. And it looks like Funko ended up scratching that. That's okay though, that is less money we have to spend and this is still a great mold. Another fun exclusive is a brand new Kimpachi here with Yachiru here. So this is actually a Chow's Collectibles exclusive available at their website now for pre-order if you want to grab it. And I think this is a great little thing to make as a pop and buddy situation. The only thing I feel is missing is his sword. I don't really know why they didn't give him his sword in this pop 
would have made the pop even better. But in my opinion, I think this is actually the better variation of Kimbachi, and I'd rather have this one over the common. But when I was taking a look at both of them here, you can see the one with the sword also looks really cool, so I'm a little divided, but I think I'm leaning more towards the exclusive. Now our final new Bleach exclusive is Rukia stepping on Kon here. This one's a Toy Temple exclusive available on their website for pre-order now. I gotta say, I also really do like this one. A lot of people don't care for this one. I was kind of surprised. I like Rukia, I also like Kon's character. I think it's great to see this annoying little dude get stepped on as he deserves, but it's just a funny pop in itself. We also already saw in-person looks at it a long time ago. It looks really cool, so I'll definitely pick this one up. Now that pretty much wraps up all of the Bleach exclusives that we did get announced. Five in one day is insane. And I know some of you guys pre-ordered all four today that were available. Let me know for Bleach fans in the comments comments below which one is your favorite and which ones did you grab. Now I actually have one more Bleach update for you guys. We do have first looks at an upcoming Bleach pop which is expected next year and that is Hiori here sharing over from a Scarlet Joker on Instagram. We do have first looks at the Scrapper prototype here and if you'll notice up on the left hand corner of this mold you can see a hole in her face where her mask is supposed to be attached there because she should have her mask in this one which I think is fantastic. Very excited to see more of that group and we're also supposed to be seeing Shinji in the future too. So that new wave is already shaping up to be fantastic. Unfortunately, we do have to wait until next year, but at least we're getting teasers here and there. Let me know what you guys think. Now next up, moving on to some general updates here, I wanted to show you guys some of the shipping recently from the Pokemon Center. So if you ordered the Lapras, your box might have came crushed like this one from this user Danny over on Facebook, where you ordered two Laprases and they came destroyed. Now, Obviously, this is kind of an issue from the Pokemon Center and how they're packaging, as well as the post offices, because the post office damages things all the time, no matter how well you pack it. Sometimes it will just come crushed looking like an accordion. But I do feel like at the same time, the Pokemon Center could have done a better job packaging these with some kind of filler to avoid at least some of the crushing there. But still, when you're paying for an item and a shipping cost, they should not come damaged to you. And it's definitely very weird because I know the Pokemon Center gets lots of returns on their exclusives due to a lot of damages. So you'd think they'd change something right now, but I guess not. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to show you guys because this is not always gonna happen, but I want you to keep it in mind when you're ordering from the Pokemon Center. Next up here, another miscellaneous update. I wanted to let you guys know over at Five Below, they are actually getting in new display cases here, which I think is really cool. And it's basically like the Funko Crown as a display. On the right there of this image, you can actually see where Five Below, when they first started getting in pops, they would kind of just throw them in bins. So I will say that Funko display is much better. Moving on to our next updates, I wanted to show you guys some new things that are hitting Hot Topic at Box Nudge Source. So first off for Hot Topic, we do have the new Insidious pops here. So this features the Red Face Demon and Wheezing Demon there. And then we also do have the new Pumpkin Stitch, which is Blacklight, Hot Topic exclusive, as well as some of the new Demon Slayer pops there. Now a few more pops hitting box lunch stores includes Wet Hot American Summer as well as the new Michael Jordan from the new NBA line and expect more of those to come soon. The next updates are some closer looks at some upcoming exclusives here. So first up for Demon Slayer we do actually have looks at the new Pop Plus Nezuko here. So this actually features a new style of box in the background if you can see where it kind of has a holographic lining around the artwork there. So basically what Pop Plus is supposed to mean is that it's a pop plus more detail. I'm assuming that's what that is there. <laughs> and a further explanation of that is just a Funko Pop that has extra things added to it. So in this case with Nezuko, she's kicking up her blood demon art and on top of that, it does glow in the dark. So it's just these extra little features that they're charging more for. And if you don't know, normally a Funko Shop exclusive like this Nezuko would cost $15, but given it's part of this new Pop Plus line, it's now $18, a $3 price increase there. So I'm assuming it's just extra details and now this new holographic trim on this box. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about this new upcharge for Pop Plus items. I personally don't think it makes any sense. And I am thinking about making a full video talking about this just because certain molds aren't considered pop plus and then certain ones are. It's very weird and very confusing. Nonetheless though, let me know what you guys think about this new Nezuko. The other Demon Slayer pop we have closer looks at is the Funko Shop exclusive Guitar here where he's using his blood demon art as well with his blood attack there. I think this one's kind of a missed opportunity for a glow honestly, but red glows usually aren't great. So I definitely understand them not doing a red glow here. More anime first looks includes Crollo here, also Funko Shop exclusive from Hunter x Hunter. They also really nailed this mold 
gold. I love the ninfish going around him. I will be picking this one up. For DC fans, we do have looks at two more exclusives, including Fear Gas Batman and Squire. That Fear Gas Batman is crazy, crazy good. It looks so freaking creepy. They really nailed it. Now the final in-person look we do have is Devin Booker here from the basketball line. Our last few updates in today's video include some recap news from an earlier Funko news I did in the week, just reminding you guys of some drops. Our first page here features a lot of new common drops, which you can grab over on Amazon as well as Entertainment Earth. Again, there are links down below. We have the new Sandman set there with Dream and a Chase variation of Dream. We also have the Corinthian, Lucifer, and Lucien with the Matthew Raven. On the right there, we do of the new casino movie pops of a Nikki, Sam, and Ginger. On the bottom left, we do have a new Stranger Things set, including the Mind Flayer, Demogorgon, and Vecna. And on the bottom right, we do have a new Harry Potter gingerbread holiday set of Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, and gingerbread Dumbledore with Hogwarts Castle. Probably the best one of the set. A couple more releases included Baymax with the Heart Hands from Disney, as well as a new Care Bears and Universal Monsters collab there of four different bears. One more reminder includes this Pom Pom Pern exclusive over at Box Lunch did actually drop in stores today, so you guys can hit up your local stores and pick this one up, or check the website to see if it's still in stock. Well guys, that catches you up on all of the latest Funko news and updates. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy or if it was helpful, make sure to hit the like button down below, as well as subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. And as always, if you guys have any further questions about anything, drop a comment down below and I will do my best to answer it. With that being said though, I do want to say a big shout out to all the awesome Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, make sure you follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.